In this video, let's talk about the difference between thickening a surface and shelling a solid when dealing with drafted parts. Now, if you're dealing with surfaces, you're either going to thicken that surface or you're going to create a watertight set of surfaces in order to create a solid from it. When you're dealing with the solids, as we showed, having an external draft on a solid part and then shelling it is a great way to get your external geometry with a consistent wall thickness. Now, let's take a look at the part on the screen. The file is called Thicken versus Shell. Now we have a part that has quite a bit of draft on the outside, and we need to either create a consistent wall thickness by creating a shell of the inside of this, or we can take a look at the surface, which is an exact copy of the outside of this part, and thicken it and look at the differences and why we would use one over the other. So first, let's hide the surface, show the solid, and let's create a shell operation. From our feature tab, let's create a shell, and in the thickness parameters, we're going to hit equal, go to our global variable, wall thickness, and say OK. So here what we've created is a consistent wall thickness of 4 millimeters of our highly drafted part. So now let's hide that. Let's show our surface offset. Let's create a thicken of this from our surface tab. Go over to thicken, select the surface, and in the thicken section we're going to hit equal. And you'll notice that it's not allowing us to grab any of the global variables. That's okay. For now, let's just say one millimeter and we can link that to it from the outside of our part. So once we've created that thicken, simply selecting the feature with the left mouse button, you'll notice that on the screen we have the dimension D1 at thickening. So if we double click this, we can hit the equal key and now we can link it to our global variable wall thickness, rebuild the part all from inside of our feature. The two key differences that you'll notice when dealing with thicken and shell is that the shell is going to take the external shape of our solid without modifying it. It's just going to remove material from the inside. When you thicken a surface, you're thickening in the normal direction to that surface. So because we're dealing with a drafted part, the external face or the external edge of our surface is going to thicken normally. So you'll notice you get this kind of funky ripple in the side of our part. If we instead take a look at the solid shell operation, it's stopping at our top plane where it was originally sketched and extruded from. So this is a very important difference when you're dealing with drafted parts. You need to be able to control this geometry. Now, of course, we could turn on our thicken, we could use the top plane, or we could use one of the other planes, and we could trim this. But when you're dealing with more complicated geometry than just a simple rectangle, it's going to be very difficult in order to control this type of information. So instead of using thicken, I would highly urge you to use the solid shell. Now, if you are dealing with a complicated surface, obviously quite a bit more complicated than this one, there are several ways that you can approach that. You can simply create a filled surface by selecting the tangency of your outside of your part and creating a surface that fills in this area. Now, this is great as long as your boundary is planar. If it's not, then you could create some additional issues because you're not creating a planar face. You could use the planar face option. You could again, right click and select the tangency. And as long as your border is planar, then you can do that. We can knit these two together. We can try to form a solid. We can say, okay, we formed a solid. We can shell this. Again, we can use that thickness value from our global variables. We can create a shelled version of that surface. Now, in our case, these two are identical. They're completely identical in every way because the outside surface was an exact copy of the outside of this solid part, and everything was planar on the outside. As you can see, this is a great way to use a complicated surface geometry of a drafted part in order to create that solid geometry you need with the consistent wall thickness. Now, one other thing that I'd like to note in this video is we now have an issue with our equation manager. That's because I deleted a feature that was linked to an equation. If we go into our equation manager, you'll notice that there's an error here because we have D1 at thick and one was linked to our wall thickness, but that no longer exists within our part. We can simply select that row and delete it. That way you no longer have any rebuild issues or errors within your equation manager.